This is a brand new Talisman rechargeable selfie stick that's gonna 5x the battery life on your GoPro. At $65, the Talisman selfie stick is coming in at half the cost of the GoPro Volta. In this video, we're gonna compare some of the key facts between these two grips and my personal user experience to help you decide which one you should be picking up. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I review affordable camera gears and also make easy tutorials that will help you capture your next big adventure. So consider subscribing if this is your thing. Speaking of adventure, I took the Talisman rechargeable selfie stick with me to Yosemite National Park to document some of the behind the scenes for my photography trip. It turned out really well, but we also faced some unpredictable weather and some rain, actually a lot of rain. This is a tunnel view. It's still really spectacular in the rain. Never seen it in the rain before. Hoping it will be snowing, but hey, you get what you get. So what's in the box? You get the selfie stick, you get the GoPro mount right here, and also you get a bunch of accessories here, including a pass-through GoPro battery door and also a universal phone mount as well. The selfie stick comes with a 10,000 milliamp rechargeable battery that roughly gives you about five times the battery life on a GoPro. You get around six and a half hours of shooting time if you're recording at 5K 30 frames, according to Talisman's website. Because it supports Quick Charge 3.0 and it does supply up to 18 watts of power, yes, it does mean that you can power your GoPro without the battery inside. However, I really wouldn't recommend it just because batteries are cheap nowadays, you can easily replace them, but your footage are priceless. Another great feature is that you can charge two devices at once. You can charge it from here on the very top. And also there is a little USB door at the very bottom right here, where you can plug in your second device using a USB-C to a USB-C cable. What it means is that you can charge your phone and your GoPro at the same time. However, keep this in mind, if you're using dual charging, it takes away the quick charge function on both devices because you're sharing that power. Talisman also claims that this selfie stick is IP52, meaning it's dust and drip proof. Rain that falls on it, you just wipe it off, it's okay. But if you drench this in wet snow or water, this is going to break. As you can see in the video, I did use this combo in some medium to heavy rains in Yosemite, and this selfie stick held out just fine. These are the very dedicated photographers. When a selfie stick fully collapsed, it's eight and a half inch, but you can extend all the way to 35 inches and that is almost a meter for you metric people. The main selling point of this gadget is the fact that you can extend the selfie stick while keeping it charged at the same time. A lot of the competitive products have the cable actually attached to the battery handle itself. You don't get this extension function. There has to be a cable that's built inside here to allow this charging function to be able to extend all the way to 35 inches, right? So there are definitely some additional work and engineering that goes within the selfie stick that allows the quick charge to continue to happen while it's fully extended. Taking the Volta Grip as a prime example here, you can turn the head right here. It does change direction in 360 degrees. However, it's not extendable and this charging cable is stuck on the body. If you want the selfie stick function, then the Talisman is the way to go. The Volta, you can do it, but it's not really built for that. Let's talk about some of the things I really like about the Talisman selfie stick. Number one, it has rubbery grip. Now that goes both ways sometimes. Long-term situation, that rubbery grip could get all sticky and tacky. I'm sure you have experienced that before. But for now, I really do like that touch because it does provide you with good grip and also great ergonomics. Number two, I like the fact that it has a built-in tripod mount at the very bottom. So if you wanna go crazy and extend it even more with another selfie stick, you can, or you can simply mount a mini tripod like this, and now you will have a tripod function and you'll be able to walk away from the camera to get more dynamic shots. Number three, the 10,000 milliamp battery capacity not only provides five times a GoPro battery life, but also doubles as a charger for my phone. It really comes in clutch when it comes to minimalistic traveling. Number four, it supports Quick Charge 3.0. Not only would it charge your camera faster, it also charge your phone with fast charging as well. And this is very important if you want to use this as a power bank on the side, because who wants to wait forever for your phone to get charged, right? Number five, not to state the obvious of the main selling point, which is the selfie stick. Selfie stick by itself is not new. 
but when combined with a GoPro Hero 11, for example, that can shoot 5K60 with horizon lock and also auto boost on, it does crop into the image a little bit. So without sacrificing that wide angle look that I want, all I need it to do is just extend the selfie stick to as much as I want to get that same angle. So now I get the best of both worlds. I don't have to sacrifice frame rate. And at the same time, I keep the stabilization to the max. Is it a full husky? Oh, it's gonna be big, huh? Right before sunset, you'll see people with tripods just lining up right here, uh, trying to get the sunset dome shot. I have a, like 10 or 15 different shots that I printed. Onto the things I don't like so much about the grip. Take a look at these two. They're obviously very similar, and you can tell that Taliesin may have gotten the design cue from the GoPro Volta. And unfortunately, they took the design cue too literally by having this stupid, really short pigtail charging cable. And just like the Volta, the charging cable is just perfectly long enough if you're using it directly on a GoPro. But as soon as you plug it into the media mod, this cable has to stretch out and becomes too short. The second thing I don't like so much is the size. If you look at the GoPro Volta, I mean, this is a pretty nice size. This thing in comparison looks like a beast. Given the fact that the Telesyn selfie stick has a bigger battery capacity and also pretty much a one meter long selfie stick hidden in here, we can easily justify the size. I would like to see a mini version that has the same battery capacity, but maybe just a tad bit smaller and shorter selfie stick. I think the one meter long selfie stick is a bit of an overkill, especially when a GoPro is already wide enough of an angle. This might be nitpicking at this point, but you can kind of see a little bit of a gap here. And even when you fully collapse it, it's sometimes it's, there's just a gap. It's not, uh, it kind of irks me. It's not a big deal. It does not affect the function. Whenever it's not fully aligned, it won't collapse correctly which bugs me sometimes. So this is a very simple device, right? It's basically a rechargeable selfie stick that charges your camera. That's pretty much it. There's no built-in tripod. There's no built-in Bluetooth remote controller. If you want that, you need to look at the Volta. I just wish they would take this guy and this guy, and they have a baby, kind of retain the size of this guy, but have the selfie stick out of here and allow us to have the Bluetooth remote control. That would be amazing. So at this point, you must be thinking, should you be getting the Telesyn or the GoPro? Let's lay out some facts to help us build a better picture here. The GoPro Volta comes in at $129 and has a 4,900 milliamp battery, which gives you three times the normal GoPro battery life and roughly four hours of recording at 5K 30 frames per second. When it comes to mounting options, you get a handy built-in tripod as well as a quarter inch tripod mount at the very bottom of the grip. You also get these fun collapsible GoPro finger mounts that pops out and allows you to mount the grip to backpack straps combining with other GoPro mounting accessories. The main differentiator I think for the GoPro Volta is definitely the built-in Bluetooth remote control that works by wire or through wireless connection with your GoPro, the newer GoPros. However, keep in mind this remote will only work with GoPros and do not work with other cameras such as DJI Action. So which battery grip should you get? The Volta comes in $65 higher than the Telesyn grip, but you only get half of the Telesyn grip's battery capacity. And you miss out on the selfie stick feature as well. With $65 savings, you can easily get a separate tabletop tripod and also a third party remote on the side. In my user experience, the Telesyn selfie stick is more versatile and giving me a wider variety of shots as well as longer battery life. If you're a GoPro vlogger or just using the GoPro for travel filmmaking, the Telesyn rechargeable selfie stick is the way to go. It's a clear winner here. Hey, if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below which grip did you end up picking up. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.